Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Battle Brothers. In the previous part, uh, we attacked another location, the Dark Vault here, but it was only to basically give ourselves some extra time uh, for all the repairs and healing. It was just a large group of zombies and as usual it wasn't really a big problem but the loot was definitely worth it we made another over 2000 gold so it's that we are still in pretty good shape when it comes uh, to the economy uh, although we we could use some more tools and supplies and ammo so the plan for today uh, you probably already know about it if you watched the previous part we are going to Wurmfeste uh, hopefully we'll be able to find um, uh, ammo and tools and supplies there plus we are now looking for some cell sword as a reinforcements for the company uh, we still won't be dismissing anyone we need uh, basically some people who can stay in the reserve or replacements right now the best thing we uh, or that I would like to do is to move Alfgaard to the reserve give him time to heal and replace him with someone else and it's gonna happen quite often that you have some people injured so those who are injured don't mind being in reserve so if we could get like i'd say three more people of course you won't be able to get them right now uh cell swords and uh, all the mercenaries with uh, these good backgrounds are pretty expensive but uh, if we can eventually get to, like three more people so that we can rotate our injured people uh to uh, to the reserve and have replacements for them. That's like the number that I would like to get to. Uh, I'm not trying to get to 20 people because then it's just too many and even people who are not happy being in the reserve have to be there. That uh, can cause some problems. So I'm just uh, explaining what I'm trying to achieve now uh, so that you know like my long-term plan for the final composition uh, we are not trying to achieve 20 people. I would say that's just way too many. Uh, now when we are on this screen, there is one thing we need to do before we move on. Uh, we have one, two, three, four level ups. I was thinking about uh, crippling strikes for Grimlock in the previous part, but I forget that he doesn't have brawny. Uh, so let's start with that. And uh, this is quite easy. Melee skill, melee defense. That was a really, really nice level up. Uh, Hilmar. This is easy. Reach advantage. One of the crucial perks for our heavies. And plus three, plus three. Uh, the fatigue kind of sucks. Only plus two, but we don't need pretty much anything else. So I'm going to take it anyway. For Sobo. Uh, that's going to be Berserker. The reason for that is we are in the previous fight. It was a good uh, example. It wasn't that hard to kill a zombie with one hit, and uh, without Berserker, we kill one. We have uh, three action points left. We can't do anything else. But Berserker will give us the chance to attack twice per turn if we kill something with the first attack, and uh, that's a huge, huge boost. Uh, to what Sobo can do. Hopefully it's gonna work. Uh, it won't be that effective probably against like raiders, but uh, against the large groups of zombies that should speed things up quite a bit. And when we get a better weapon, I, I'm really not a big fan of this long axe, but once you get a better weapon it should become even more effective. So let's get that. And just more melee everything. And more fatigue. 83 is already quite good. Can we make it? I might be able to make it to like 100. Mm, yeah, Sobo looks pretty good. And Kunibert, do you have Bullseye? You don't. That's something you need. Here it's gonna be definitely melee skill. I mean rank skill of course. Uh, fatigue. Mm. I'm not sure about the last point. I 
think range defense. Where the two star in the range skill uh, will probably rely more on shooting later than on melee attacks. So maybe we can just ignore the melee skill from now on. It's decent enough that we can hit here and there if we need to. But I think I will focus on the range defense a bit more now. Unless we of course get something like plus 3 or plus 4 to melee skill in that case. I'd go for that. Um, okay, before we do anything else, let's again switch to the main weapons. Okay. There was something else I wanted to do. I wanted to take the quest. Is it this one? Yeah. Drive off brigands at Eugene's Watch east of Blankenstadt. Hmm. 650. Yeah, that's worth it. We should be ready for this quest. By the time that we check uh, some of the other cities, we should be healed. Everything should be repaired. I think we can accept the quest. So this will reveal the location where... Oh, it's all the way here. I was thinking that it's going to be somewhere around here. But well, since we are going to Wormfeste and maybe Wiesenfeste anyway. Uh, it probably doesn't matter if we then have to go here or here. Okay, so let's start moving. Oh, that's quite a few battle sites. And what else is this? Um, a few poachers, marksmen, many raiders. It's tempting. But... Considering the condition of the company... It's better to wait, really heal properly, and go for locations. I mean, one random group of brigands, that's not a part of any quest, would in the end probably just cost us money instead of uh, making money. Oh, that's a waste of time. Let's just get out of here. Can we make it before the night? Should be. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Um, so what do we want? Because I'm curious, I'm gonna check uh, armor and weaponsmith. Nope, no uniques. Next. Probably the most important part. Um, tools and supplies. And ammo. Ammo is pretty expensive. Let's buy only one stack. Food. We have enough for three days. How expensive is the food here? Uh, also quite expensive. Let's just buy some bread. And now we have 8,000 left. But we have to be careful with what we are doing with the money now. We don't have the reserve anymore that we used to have. We uh, used to run around with all the valuables in the inventory, so in case we get into trouble, we still could quickly sell one or two items and get uh, a lot of money immediately. Uh, at this point, this is basically all that we have, so... I'm willing to spend maybe like five more thousand, and then we have to to slow down a bit. Okay, cell swords. Can we find some? Witch Hunter. Now we have enough ranged guys for now. I see a cell sword. For five. Oh, look at that weapon! Ah, this is what you want. Anything else? Bastard. That's something I'd like to get off camera. Bastards, I think if I remember it correctly, have extra chance to hit head. 
and in my off-camera campaign I managed to find a unique flail that has 20% extra chance to hit head so I would like to test out if I can make some crazy character specialized in smashing heads with that weapon can't find it of course where I need them and here we have two oh well but this guy Pretty much what I'm willing to pay. So let's hire him. And fingers crossed, we really need him to be good. Where are you? Look at him. Uh, no traits. But okay. Two stars melee skill, two star melee defense. The last star is initiative, don't really care. Uh, we'll have to focus on fatigue a lot. But damn, Gerolf, you definitely have some potential. Uh, can you get some nice upgrade for your chest piece? Um, well, not much, but still something. What about the helmet? It's 100. Okay, you guys will switch gear. And maybe that was 61, 83. There's another thing I'm gonna do. Sobo wanted to have sword instead of an axe. Congratulations. You have the best sword, non unique sword that you can get. Mm, Gerolf, you will have the long axe for now. And Alfgaier, you'll get uh, Gerolf's gear. Okay. Level ups. Oh, this should be easy. Student gifted. Always the same start. And we want to take melee skill, melee defense, fatigue. Melee skill, melee defense, fatigue. <laughs> Look at the numbers, how fast they're going up. And, oh. Two, that's quite bad. Thinking about going for hit points instead. I think I'll do it, 51 is pretty low. Yeah. Cool. Already 70 melee skill and we just started leveling. Um, we might get 200 before Sobo makes it. Uh, probably not, but it's gonna be close. How does it look like? We still need some time for repairs. Uh, this is 115, this one is 110. What we could do is to shuffle the gear around a bit more. I mean, that's just five points difference. Might be better to do it this way. Um, yeah. Sobo's armor. That one hit with that military pick. Uh, I don't know when that happened. I think while we are defending uh, Otterndorf. That one hit that completely destroyed the army. That's really expensive. What about this one? It should go away quite soon. And also Apostolus could use some more time for repairs. Good, good, good. Also good, just gonna take some time for the wounds to go away. But um, because the extra gear that we got, it wasn't much, but it was enough to get us in much better shape. Is there anything else I want to do before this? Oh, I mean before the quest, I don't think so. 
We don't have to wait anymore. We can just uh, attack. I wanted to visit the uh, Weisenfest there, but that was only because I thought that we would have uh, to delay the attack a bit more. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go for another quest. We need to get uh, uh, the gold back. These are brigands, so I think I wouldn't mind fighting brigand leader. You'll try to get some upgrades from him. Problem is you won't make it during the night. You may have to just stay around. Oh. They're gone. Dawn. Morning. Yeah, we won't make it before midday. Let's try to attack from this side, at least. <clears throat> Can we see the garrison? No. Oh. Well. The only thing we would be working on if we camp would be Sobo's armor. That's it. Everything else, well, it's almost repaired. You can just rest for 30 hours and then it will really be just Sobo's armor. Is that worth it? We would have to wait, it's like 12 hours. On the other hand, that would probably be enough to completely fix the armor. Can we afford to waste half a day? Well, we saved some time by not going all the way to Weisenfest then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm so scared of those brigand marksmen. Okay, I'm And this also gives us another chance to lose some of the wounds. Yeah, it's much, much better. Okay, dusk and night. Everything's repaired. We are in much better shape. If we find some marksmen, we have, don't have to worry about them too much. I hope this was worth it. Mm. Well, that sounds like shield walls. Let's wait. We can try to explore a bit with probably Sobo. He can hide here in the bush. Let's see. No, we don't see anything. We have how many? Still five points. We can move one tile closer. There we go. And now back into cover. I just want to know how close they are. Let's wait. And we'll start moving towards them slowly, just tile by tile every turn. And when we are close enough, Sobo moves forward, gives us vision for the archers and start shooting. That's the plan, I think. We can do this without exposing ourselves to 
the marksmen if there are any. But if they didn't have any archers, they probably would just uh, come to us. Wait. Oh. Um. You already have to start moving. Okay, let's do it then. This gave us some vision. Hunting bow. Hmm. One, two. We'll get some cover from this brush. Another hunting bow. Good. I'm not sure that they can actually see us here. One, two, three. Okay, should be fine. And let's get rid of the spear wall. They will start moving. Hilmar. I'll just risk it. I'll move forward with everything, really. Um, don't have any cover down here. Except behind shields, well, it will have to be enough. Nice. This can be a bit annoying that they can have the high ground. Well, hopefully we can just keep them at bay with the, the spear wall. Geralt is quite exposed. The last thing that we want is to lose him. Interestingly enough, they are not moving. Okay, you missed. 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 You suck. Okay, they all should have throwing weapons, well, almost all of them. Twenty-one, twenty-nine. Let's try this guy. If we miss, there's still a chance that we hit one of the archers. Okay, did you just run out of access? That would be nice. Wait. Good. Now they still have uh, more, just didn't see that through all the bars. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep shooting. I'm hoping that we will be able to take care of this raider with our melee attacks. Come on guys, we can't be better than that. That's what I'm talking about. Now the marksmen don't have cover anymore. At least one of them doesn't have cover. Gerolf. You may get an attack on this turn. Baron guys, possible that you don't have a bowmaster. That's the reason why we can't reach anything. Okay, in that case, it's either this raider or this one. Let's try to help with this one a bit. So, boy, you'll wait. No way. Well, this is not much better, but we get two shots. I actually managed to hit once. I have to make sure they can't get to us in case they decide to do so. Especially down here. Probably have to focus on this guy a bit more. He has the two-handed sword. I forgot about that. Uh, wait. There's still someone we don't know about. There might be a leader behind them. Gerolf. Now stay where you are. 
Sobo could try it. I don't know who moves first, if it's the raider or if it's us. Let's just wait. Okay, should have lost eggs. Uh, get into cover. Missed. Missed. Not even shooting. Wait, wait. Okay, next, let's... Oh, we can't reach him. Hmm. Let's go after this guy then. This is an interesting strategy to use the shield wall and then uh, throw a weapon. That's a huge waste of uh, stamina. That's 30 points every time. They have like two more turns, then they become exhausted. Maybe the best approach in this fight is just wait. Oh, 21. Mm, this guy is almost dead. Let's focus on this one now. And he still has to get through spear walls. He'll probably try to get the high ground, so... Good. Um, yeah, that changes things a bit. What the hell? Dude. Can we kill him before, before he can do it again? Holy crap. That we are wasting uh, stamina the same way they are. Okay, can we make it back with Friedrich before he gets killed by some random shots? Okay, that's fine. Wait. Are you bleeding? I don't think so. Step got that the old one ripped ear. That's a new one, but it's not bleeding. Down to three hit points. What the hell? Such a lucky uh, headshot. What is this? It's another raider. That's the one we didn't know about yet. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Just more throwing weapons. Good. Twenty-four. Uh, Twenty-four is quite decent. I don't have that many options. What's our chance to hit this guy? 36. Well, let's try it. And Friedrich. Run. I hope that this is far enough and that uh, we can't get hit by the axe. Thirty 
37. Well, let's try it. I'm even thinking about just moving Sobo up. I may have to do it. It'll expose him a bit more, but you'll have the high ground. So that's some penalty for them. And this is going to force the Raider to switch his weapon. I think I have to do it. I'm really not sure if uh, Friedrich is out of range. And I don't want to get hit. Ow. That was the first hit, pretty much. And now they probably start moving. What's your med weapon? X. Hmm. This is gonna take forever to go through that shield. It's probably our best choice. Now we have time. We can wait maybe if someone gets behind. We can hit two at the same time. Live. Time to switch. That's much better. Thirty-three, thirty. Uh, let's try this one. We could kill him, it might affect their morale. And this is what I wanted, now we can hit two with one attack, we get lucky. Um, okay, can we reach something from here? No. So I'll just stand there, make sure that we don't get hit again. And... What's the chance? 34. Let's go with that. Okay. Hey. Interesting. Die. Or not. really have to kill this guy. Okay, that's better. Good job. And let's start moving, we have to be a bit more aggressive. Uh, 51. Good enough. And he's running. So that's how many? One, two... Like three of them basically dead in one turn. And I didn't notice that one of the marksmen is running as well. But this one uh, I'd like to catch if possible. Another one is running. Basically it's just this one. Uh, still fighting. Can you make it behind them? This is really greedy. But... Um, now, this marksman should be a bit nervous, and also the one that uh, is hiding somewhere around here should just keep running live. He'll wait. Next important target is this one. Really good shooting. And who is next? Mm. Okay, Geralt, let's get in cover. We can reach this guy now. So, <laughs> Yeah, good job. Now let's move closer, or maybe you can wait in case someone decides to try the same tactics, we have another attack because of Berserk. So if they decide to jump up, we can 
try to attack again. Let's see what you're gonna do. Switch to a sword. Yep. Uh, how bad idea is it to move closer? It's still that uh, one marksman, one headshot, and we could be in trouble. But I think I'm gonna do it. Good. Oh, this is interesting. The Goblin Pike only needs five action points for an attack. That's quite a significant difference because it allows us to move two tiles and attack. Can't do it with a normal pike. Okay. Um, let's come closer. Here. I'm gonna provide some cover for Gerulf. And Shark, what about you? Let's just make sure that this guy is not going back. Mm. Wait. That was the chance, 70, pretty decent. Ah, oh, missed anyway. Okay, he's running, perfect. We can even catch him. Wait. Wait. So, what are you gonna do? Oh. May need some help. Hmm. I don't like the situation. I don't like it at all. This guy gets two more attacks probably. And Gerolf is not in the best shape. Shield wall. Okay. Fine. Shield wall and bleed. You can do that forever if you want. Okay. That helped. And shark. I think you have to head south. This is greedy, but I'm gonna run them down. I'll try. I would like to get the hunting bow if possible. Nice hit. Wait. Wait. What's he gonna be now? Just running? Okay, he can run. I'm not gonna chase him. All I want is to kill the marksman. Wait, wait, wait. Can you panic already? There we go. And let's just make sure this guy doesn't change his mind. We could be really greedy. But I think it's not worth it. What does he have? He has a sword, crappy armor. Nothing that we need. Let's just ignore him. We have the victory. We have the loot once the fight ends. I don't want to risk that uh, he gets a lucky crit. Kills someone. Uh, two level ups. Everyone except Friedrich is in 
very decent shape. And what did we get? Uh, amber shards, some food, almost 200 gold, 15,000 supplies, that's pretty good. Some more ammo. We have the bow. Oh, we have another two-handed sword. Warbrand is actually pretty good, even though it's the lower tier than the uh, two-handed sword that we already have. Uh, this doesn't need that many action points, I think, for a basic attack. So it can attack twice per turn. I think, as the only two-handed weapon, or the only two-handed sword. Uh, what else? 140 helmet. Yeah, I'll take it. Not the bad loot, especially the weapon upgrade is huge. Frederick, you know what? <laughs> Let's just go to the reserve, even though we won't have uh, 11 brothers in the field anymore. <laughs> you are just... Shot to pieces. Uh, as usual, I'll think about level ups off camera, but before we end this part, uh, we actually don't need the helmet anymore. It's too heavy for shark. What's the difference in the weight? Uh, six, nine. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, we need to save as much fatigue as possible. But what is definitely an upgrade is the sword. 50 to 75, 35 to 70. Then it's 40, 125. This one is 20 to 75. But uh, when we check the basic attack, it's only four action points. So it can attack twice per turn, and it still has the usual attacks two-handed swords have, split and swing. Mm, won't be able to kill shields anymore, or won't be able to do it as effectively, but I think it's worth it. Uh, what else? I think that's all, actually. Let's switch to main weapons. Oh, we already have five hunting bows. I thought that we still needed one. Okay, I was wrong. But well, whatever. Important thing is that we won and that we have another upgrade for a two-handed weapon. Um, and the next part, we're going back and... I'm not sure what we're gonna do after. Probably just go exploring a bit to this side. And what we want to find would be as many locations with undead as possible. Uh, it's not the most interesting fights ever, just killing a large packs of zombies. But it's so profitable and so safe that uh, I'll just try it. As long as there are any locations around Blankenstadt that we can clear, we're gonna stay around here and try to make as much money as possible. But well, that's gonna be in the next part. We are done for today, so another victory for the White Company. And uh, as usual guys, I hope that you enjoyed this part, that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.